Hello everyone and welcome to another class of Amazon CloudFront. In our previous class, we have discussed about the introduction of CloudFront. So today in this class, we are going to discuss about next. That means how regional caches, why it stores the user content close to the viewers. So CloudFront regional edge location, edge caches. That means we have edge locations. In those edge locations, we have edge caches caches so why there is a requirement of storing data as a cache in a edge locations because it will bring cache will bring the data very close to the viewers or the users so it also that means edge location also store no not so popular content and so this help helps to improve performance for viewers because it lowers the operational burden and cost of scaling the original resources. Suppose if original suppose, uh, resources are at a distance apart. So we have created an edge location over here so that it will be near to the user and user can access. If we have some frequently accessed data, so edge location will store in the cache so that origin that means this is the origin server where we have stored our data. So that's why it saves data it also stores not so important data in a cloud front edge locations so this feature will help with all type of content that means which will become less popular over time or not so what are the examples examples include like user generated content such as any video photos or any artwork we have any e-commerce asset like product photos and videos and also we have some news and event related content so cache will store each and every type of content in it in edge location so what are the features of cloudfront regional edge so there is no need to make any dis or changes to the cloudfront distribution regional edge caches so these are always enabled by default for all cloudfront cloudfront distributions and also there is no additional charge as we can see for example a cache invalidation request removes an object from edge cache before it expires that means if we want to expire so we can have remove an object from both edge cache and regional edge cache before it expires so regional edge caches are available for customer regions s3 origins are not supported here in this case for regional edge caches dynamic content as determined as a request time like cache behavior configured to forward all headers does not for, uh, does not flow through the regional edge cache but it goes directly to the origin suppose we are having some dynamic content that are uh, determined as a time of request time so we can go it can go request can go directly to the origin user can measure the performance improvement by this feature so amazon web services publish its current ip read in json format so if we want to see the current ranges we can download the dot json file to maintain the history we have to maintain or save the successive version of .json files. It is a compliance with PCI DSS and HIPAA, which is Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard and Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Now let's discuss about what are these. Let's first discuss about PCI DSS. The Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard is a it is a property information security standard now it is administered by pci security standard council so it discovers financial services international mastercard worldwide and visa etc cloudfront supports the processing storage and transmission of credit card by merchant or any service provider and it has been validated with compliant and payment card industry data security standards because for security of the data it is compliance with amazon cloudfront is compliance with this and this hip aa also hip aa is a large and growing number of healthcare providers payers and it professionals are using this cloud services to process store and transmit protected health information it 
covers entities business associate subject to us health insurance portability and accountability act it is used for secure aws environment to process maintain and store protected health information so as we are transferring our information either our payment or card information or any health information so that's why amazon cloudfront is compliance with both these standards for data security so this is about introduction of amazon cloudfront that we have discussed thank you so much